Will the risotto reduce in time? <laughs> that is the big question of the morning here. We're at the Northern Center back in the kitchen with ACF members and chefs Derek Estes and Chris Durley making this butternut squash risotto like we've told you all morning. This is the appetizer to the upcoming American Culinary Federation UP chapter culinarian of the year dinner happening on December 1st. So we're just making it for you today. So where are we at in terms of, of things and cooking, Chef Derek? So it's, now it's all a matter of just taste. Uh, we're just about there on our on, on our greens, which I think we are. I think we're there, and it's just a matter of seasoning. So you're looking at texture of the rice when you're yep. trying it. So the texture of the rice is just right where I want it to be. So okay. I'm going to actually shut my heat off, and I'm going to add a little more salt because it needs a little bit more salt. And then that over there, we're going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese because that's going to add some. That's going to add some salt to it. And I'm just kind of let that start to melt down a little bit. At this point, we're going to add some butter to the top. Are you adding all that butter? Nope. Oh, oh. Nope. We're just going to. I, I wasn't going to be mad about it. <laughs> what I like to do is I like to just kind of fill my top up. It's better to do it with room temperature butter. And I made a couple batches of this already. Okay. I always want to test to make sure we're not going to, you know, screw it up because that happens. <laughs> but it's pretty, it, it's a pretty easy dish. And the idea behind this is you just want to melt your butter and let that just kind of just kind of melt down a little bit and then we're going to fold all that in and that's going to create our creaminess but we're just going to let the heat of that kind of handle right now okay and here we have the option of how how we want to finish Woo! how we want to finish our flavors yeah i dropped that that's okay we drop things all the time hey to you luckily it's a clean like table like <laughs> <laughs> yes that's what i was thinking so, <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of roasted garlic and I, and I roasted this in just a little bit of oil and um, what I did was I saved my oil and we'll garnish, we'll garnish with that. Um, okay. So that's the oil you roasted, the oil you roasted that garlic in? Yep. And then what I'm doing now is I'm just adding the rest of my butternut squash. So now I'm going to have a couple different types of texture of my butternut squash. Mm. So I'll have several types of texture. The flavor's already in there. I have that roasted garlic happening. Um, so this is going to be a lot of flavors that all come together at once. Now as we see it's nicely melted here, I'm just gonna take that and give it a stir. And here's where you're gonna see that creaminess that you're used to seeing with the risotto. Yeah. And you just kinda see it almost transform as it hits that, emul that emulsion. You okay, how, that's much more risotto-y. And that's exact kind of what you're looking for right there. Now I left my thyme leaves in, my sprigs. Yeah. And like I said, if I'm at home, I'm just gonna leave them in. But you if, wouldn't do that for like if, the, the, if the dinner or the, the dinner, show. I'll be okay. taking them out for the dinner, and that's also a lot of the reason why I left them whole. They're easy to grab. So once that's out, you might want to give it one last of a taste and say, okay, here's our here's our last flavor where we want to be. And remind so, me why we have these other things. So these are just different ways that we can we do it. So this, it is a romes, this is a romesco cauliflower that I got from the co-op yesterday. You can do asparagus and we can even add these into it. So we want to do a really vegetable-y. So let's say we want to just, let's do it. Yeah, I, I personally want all the vegetables so today. So we're going to go ahead and throw in a ton of vegetables. Love and it. I always like to keep my, um, I always like to keep my asparagus tops for garnish. So that's why I have them Okay, separate. okay. So we're just going to do that and just give it a little stir. And you just pre-roasted those? Everything's just been pre-roasted, a little salt, pepper, and oil. Um, and that's all I did with these ones. And, and now we got our super creaminess. It's great looking risotto. It uh, is great looking now risotto. Now just plating. Mm. Okay, let's take another break. Yep. We'll let you plate during the break. Okay. And um, Tia is an expert food reviewer. Did you know this? I heard. <laughs> you heard. <laughs> Okay. I'm an expert food is taster, it, is you guys. My understanding that you've had a lot of risotto, so you should like be very adaptive in tasting this. And yeah. yeah. She's had zero risotto. I've had zero risotto. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you gonna base it on? If it's good or bad. Okay. If uh, how many flavor profiles okay. I can sense. Okay. Um, the texture of the rice. Are you nervous? Nope. Oh, good. <laughs> nope. No way. No, no way. No, this looks like it's right up my alley. All right, so. we're gonna plate it and come right back. <laughs> 